What's up Elite Thenx athletes, it's Chris Harrio. Welcome to another video of Official Thenx. Today I'm gonna to be giving you a full arm workout, hitting every single muscle group in our arms. And not only are we gonna be hitting each muscle group in our arms, but we're gonna be hitting every muscle within each muscle group. And that's the key to a perfect, complete workout when it comes to whatever you're training. When you do so, you're preventing injury and muscle imbalance, but you're also creating the maximum potential for each muscle group. Remember, you're only as strong as your weakest link, and in this case, your weakest muscle. And when it comes to a particular muscle group, all the muscles within that group work together in unison to help with the lift or perform an exercise. If one of the muscles within a muscle group is being neglected or underdeveloped, that's exactly what leads to injury and muscle imbalance. You still may be able to perform a specific lift or exercise because the other muscles are stronger, but because you have an underdeveloped muscle helping with that lift, you're putting a lot of strain and that muscle may not be capable or ready to lift what the other muscles are. And the continuation of stressing an underdeveloped muscle is definitely going to lead to injury. And of course, if all the muscles in a muscle group are balanced and being developed, there's nothing holding you back and that's only going to allow you to get stronger and reach your full maximum potential. Now the reason why people may be having this problem is because there's there's a lot of different exercises that you can do for each muscle group. If you're not properly choosing the right combination of exercises, you could be doing a bunch of exercises that will work that muscle group, but you're only working one or some of the muscles within the group. And that's why it's important not just to work the muscle group, but to choose the right exercises as well. That's going to give you a full, well-rounded workout and work out every single muscle within each muscle group in a balanced and structured way. And that's exactly what I'm going to give you guys today. We're going to be working every single muscle group within our arms from our shoulder, bicep, tricep, and forearms. And within our shoulders, there's three heads, our frontal, lateral, and rear delt. In our biceps, we have two. That's going to be the long head and the short head on the inside. You also have the brachialis and the radial brachialis that extends into the forearm. For our triceps, we have three. That's going to be our lateral, our long head, in the back, and our medial. And when it comes to our forearms, there are 20 different muscles that help with engaging, flexing, and rotations of anything that you do with your arms and assist with every exercise that you use with your hands. Now, of course, we can't isolate every single one of those muscles, but we'll be using different flexors extensions and rotations to work out all of them. So with that said, we're going to get right into this workout to properly follow along. Make sure you download the Thenx app in the App Store or Google Play Store. Open up to the YouTube workout section. You're going to find this routine. Let's get started. Now with the exception of biceps, which we'll be using only dumbbells for, we're going to be using a combination of dumbbells and calisthenics. Now as I mentioned in a video that I did on my vlog channel called Home Back Workout Dumbbells Only, the best and most effective bodyweight exercises for your back and your biceps are going to be done from a hanging position. And because most people from home don't have something safe to hang from, you're way better off finding something that's going to be heavy to lift and it's going to directly engage your desired muscle versus inventing exercises that just don't work or barely engage your desired muscle group like doing pull-ups on the floor. And that's why for today to properly engage my biceps, I'm going to be using a pair of dumbbells. And if you don't have any, you can always find something heavy to lift around the house. And that could be filling up a bag of books or finding a gallon of water to lift. And that's going to be a lot more effective and practical than just making up a random exercise. So with that said, let's start off with biceps. The first exercise we're going to get into is going to be bicep curls 21s. And using this technique for an exercise is the only time you'll ever see me doing half reps. So we'll be emphasizing on different portions of the range of motion and the movement. But in the end, we're going to be working the entire range of motion, focusing and emphasizing from the beginning explosive part of the movement, then working on the peak contraction and everything in between. A lot of times when we're doing repetitions, we may be used to working a specific portion of that repetition and not really focusing on the peak contraction all the way at the top or maybe not going all the way at the bottom. And if you only focus and work a specific range of motion, you're only going to be strong in that range of motion. And this is why we do 21s to make sure that we have maximum strength from full extension all the way to peak contraction. So let's go ahead and go for it. We're going to go for bicep curls 21s. Now the wider your grip is, the more you're working on your short head, and the more narrow your grip is, the more you're working on your long head. So let's go ahead and have a wider grip. Come all the way to the top. We're gonna start working the top half. One. So that was seven. We're gonna go ahead and go down halfway up. All right, now we're gonna go for full range of motion. All right, there we have it. So there we have bicep curls 21s. That's seven halfway up, seven halfway down, and then full range of motion without letting go. 
It's also a great exercise that you can do at home if you don't have that much weight to increase the overload and reach hypertrophy. Now the next exercise we're gonna go into for our biceps is gonna be hammer curls. This is gonna have more of a narrow grip. So this exercise is gonna work more on our long head of our bicep as well as our brachialis. Let's go ahead and go for 10 reps. Hold a solid grip, come all the way up, all the way down. All right, there we have the hammer curls. Now we're ready to move on to the next muscle group. That's gonna be shoulders. And the first exercise to engage our shoulders is gonna be a weighted exercise, emphasizing on our rear delts. That's gonna be rear delt flies. Let's go ahead and go for 10. You wanna keep your back straight. Come all the way out. All right, there we have rear delt flies. Now it's time to supplement our weight exercise with the calisthenics exercise. That's gonna give us the best results and the most out of this workout routine. And since we just hit the rear delts, now it's time to hit lateral and frontal delts. Like I always say, the best exercise that you can do for your shoulders is gonna be handstand push-ups. It puts the most amount of body weight onto your shoulders for every single rep, as well as working your balance, control, and stability. And that's why, in my opinion, it's way better than just sitting down or standing up and doing a normal shoulder press. And that's because the shoulder press is never gonna transfer into a handstand push-up. But the strength that you gain from a handstand push-up or one of its progressions will definitely translate into the weight room. So with that said, let's get right into this next exercise. Remember, if you're a beginner, I want you to start off with pike push-ups on the floor. If you're intermediate, start with elevated pike push-ups. And if you've already been working these progressions for a while, you should be able to do your handstand push-ups at least against the wall. Let's go for 10. All right, there we have handstand push-ups. And now we've worked all the muscles within our shoulders, so we're gonna be moving on to the next muscle group. That's gonna be triceps. And with the first exercise for our triceps, we're gonna be using weights. That's gonna be tricep kickbacks. That's gonna emphasize on our long head as well as our medial. Let's go for 10 reps. So again, you wanna keep your back straight. Lift your arms up to a 90 degree angle. Kick back. All right, there we have the tricep kickbacks, one of the most essential movements when it comes to developing your triceps. The next exercise we're gonna go into is gonna emphasize now most on our lateral head. We're gonna be going for cross tricep extensions on the ground. Let's go for it. Now this exercise is pretty tough, so of course you can always start with this exercise on your knees. We're gonna put our hands in this position and keeping a straight line from your knees to your back, you're gonna press down, bring your body up and come back down. You wanna make sure that your elbows are not past your shoulders like this. They wanna be right by your chest line. We're gonna go for seven and then switch our hand position and do another seven. Let's go for it. All right, let's go ahead and switch it up. All right, there we have it, cross tricep extensions. And that's gonna be it for our triceps. Now we're gonna move into the last muscle group in our arms, that's gonna be our forearms. Now with every single exercise we've been doing, we've pretty much been working our forearms indirectly, but with these last three exercises, we're gonna really engage them and finish them off. So the first exercise we're gonna be using with weights, that's gonna be pronated forearm curls. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna find a spot to sit. You wanna put your forearms by your knees so your wrists are hanging straight down. We're gonna go ahead and curl all the way up and then back down. Let's go for 10 reps. <sighs> 
I always like to hold the last rep. All right, the next exercise we're gonna go into, that's gonna be forearm press. So you go ahead, find a wall. The lower your hands are, the more weight you're gonna be applying to this exercise. So the higher your hands are, the easier it's gonna be. So let's go ahead, go for 10 reps. last rep all right now we're gonna move on to the last exercise this is gonna be with the dumbbells again so let's go ahead and pick it up and this time we're gonna be doing a rotation with our forearms so we're gonna have the same position and this time we're gonna rotate our arms back and forth ten times All right, and that's it for the last exercise of your forearms. And that's gonna complete every single muscle in your arm for a full arm workout. So if you were able to get through this with me, congratulations, you actually just completed round one. And if that's all you can do for today, that's perfectly fine. The more you do this and train like this, you're gonna build up your strength and your endurance. Eventually, you'll be able to complete more rounds of this in a single workout. And if you can do this at least three to four rounds, that's gonna ensure that you complete the full workout and get the most results out of your workout routine. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want the next video to be about. And of course, share this video with a friend that's trying to build some arms from home. And definitely come back to this video on a weekly basis to make sure that you're getting a full arm workout. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe because I post every single Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern time. And if you comment within the first 30 minutes, you always have a chance to win some free Thenx gear. And remember to get this workout and more workouts just like this, getting in the best shape of your life, visit thenx.com and become a member. You're gonna get full access to all our workout programs, technique guides, and daily workouts that are gonna have you shredded. And don't forget to download the Thenx app in the app store to take our workouts with you everywhere and join the millions of other Thenx athletes around the world getting in the best shape of their lives. That's going to be it for today's video. Don't forget for more of my content throughout the week, make sure you subscribe to my vlog channel. That's youtube.com slash chrisharia and make sure you're following me on Instagram. Almost every single post, I always do some type of giveaway. So if you want a chance to be a part of that, make sure you're following me on IG. You can also find my music on all other music platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, Instagram, TikTok, and so much more. And I just dropped a brand new track called Hold Me Close. You can find on all these music platforms. Here's a preview of what it sounds like. When it went wrong, when you thought it was nothing I couldn't wait to prove you wrong, now I'm already stunned I had no one to put me on, had to cover the budget Now you wanna get along, cause we all wanna touch it Now you know that I'm the one, ain't no question of nothing You know the fuck that I be on, turning nothing to something I hit the gas and I'm gone, I ain't got no time for discussions I hit the gas and I'm gone, ain't got no time for discussions Cause I ain't trying to play those games with the shit ain't been the same since I lay with you I ain't trying to trip everything around you Said I ain't tryna play those games with you Shit ain't been the same since I led with you I ain't tryna trip, babe.